Hey, what's going on, guys? Rago here from MacKite. So I'm hanging out in the MacKite warehouse uh, just with uh, some of my buddies, like Tucker here. So like I've uh, said before, I've been at MacKite. What's up, Tucker? How's it going? Been at MacKite for about three years now, and Tucker uh, was one of those guys who just really helped me out in my early days of riding. And uh, this week, we're going to be doing a video on the Slingshot Rally versus the Slingshot RPM. And uh, when I started here, actually, Tucker was exclusively on Slingshot. Uh, yeah, the good old days, man. Back. Flew uh, Slingshot exclusively for about two years, and RPMs are my babies. And uh, still can't say anything bad about them today. They're a great, versatile kite, and you can do just about anything with them if you change the tuning settings on the kite. Yeah, more or less. Uh, so I'm going to just have a quick chat with Tucker here and get our thoughts in order, and then we're going to hit a review in the studio for you and just go over these two kites. This week, we're going to be talking about slingshot because, you know, you don't know shot. Well, if you're watching this or you've ever gone wakeboarding, you probably do, but what you might not know is what kite in the slingshot lineup is right for you. Today, we're going to be comparing the slingshot RPM to the slingshot rally. Now, both of these kites are user-friendly, all-around kites that have some crossovers, but with that said, there's actually some very significant differences between these two kites. In fact, most brands have a whole range of kites used to cover a variety of riding styles that usually fall across some sort of spectrum. Now, I was going to do this video on a whiteboard for you guys and draw this out, but then I realized that my drawing kind of sucks. Luckily, I'm a little better with uh, animated motion graphics, so thanks Adobe. So you can think of all kites falling somewhere on a line. Now on one end, you have user-friendly free ride and big air kites. Here you'll find kites like the North Rebel, and on the other end of the spectrum, you'll find wake-style freestyle kites, like the Fuel or the Vegas. Now of course, you can get big air with these kites too, but that's not the point I'm making here. In the middle of this line falls all-around kites, and these fall all across the spectrum. This is where 90% of kite boarders fall. So on the left, you have all-around kites that are touch more user-friendly. This is where you're gonna find the Rally. To give you some perspective, I would place the Cabrita Switchblade and the North Evo in a similar place along this line. And of course, these kites have their differences and we'll cover that in a later video. Now, moving closer to the freestyle side, we have kites like the FX and the Dice. Now, this is what makes the RPM really special. While it does gravitate towards this side of the spectrum, unlike its counterparts, you don't make as many trade-offs for performance. Of course, this is only marginal. You don't give up that much in terms of usability for kites like the FX or the Dice. But point being, I'm placing the RPM a step back into the more user-friendly side of the spectrum. Now, don't let that fool you. The RPM is actually one of the most versatile and high-performance kites ever made. Uh, in fact, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I believe as of the making of this video, it is the only bridled kite to actually have a world championship uh, title attached to it. So how does the RPM stack up against the Rally? Well, I probably made the RPM sound like it's the end-all, be-all, and uh, while it is a sick kite, that's not necessarily the case. As with all of these Versus videos, it really comes down to uh, personal feel and, you know, what kind of benefits that you're looking to get out of your kite. So let's talk about the Rally for a minute here. Like I said, this kite's going to be more user-friendly, it's going to ride up wind a little bit better, uh, you know, it's going to jump a little easier and it's going to be a little bit loftier. You know, uh, as well, you can expect more delay out of this kite. So, you know, it's just going to be maybe a bit slower in response compared to the RPM. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I've, I've noticed there's a common trend that everybody always wants to be on the fastest kite. You know, the lightest bar pressure and the fastest kite. And that's, yeah, that's great. But, I mean, I actually prefer my kite to be a little bit slower. So, I like to have a little bit of delay in my kite. I find when I'm learning a new trick or when I'm teaching beginners, it's actually quite nice to have a little bit of delay and you get used to it pretty quick. So, you know, and I think this just stems from the, the early days where uh, you find you have a lot of advanced riders who were learning on kites that were significantly faster and a bit more performance based. Uh, but, you know, with, with modern kites, actually, sometimes having a slower kite with a little more delay is better. So don't let anybody fool you. Make up your mind for yourself. This is a personal preference. Now back to the RPM, this is where this kite really shines. So not only is this a high performance kite, but it's a kite that's actually used in many schools uh, around the world. As a matter of fact, up at our lesson center, we actually usually keep a couple of RPMs up there to teach with. 
Why? Because it's an awesome, user-friendly, all-around kite. It just happens to have a significant amount of freestyle performance. Now, as always, there are trade-offs for performance. So the RPM, yeah, it's, it's not going to ride up wind quite as well as the Rally. Uh, I would say that it jumps just as well, but it does take timing. So again, like most performance kite, it just takes a little bit more timing in board speed. Uh, and, and as well, it's a more direct kite. So for that rider who's just looking for performance, you really want a responsive kite, the RPM really is the ticket. This is the kite that's going to deliver for you. So it's really important to remember that the differences between these two kites really come down to what your riding style is and what you're looking to get for out of your kite. So for example, for riders who are a little more into the, uh, the big air, more floaty airs and want just a more easy to use, user-friendly kite, yeah, the rally is going to be the ticket. But for riders who love explosive power, more performance, uh, but still want a kite that's going to kind of hold your hand, then you're going to want to go for the RPM. So something else to consider about these kites is wave compatibility. Now they're both going to actually do pretty good in the waves. Uh, the Rally, for example, is actually marketed as a crossover into the waves. And uh, I really can't argue with that. Um, as a matter of fact, Lucas here almost exclusively rides the Rally paired with a surfboard. So with that said, the Rally does have you covered across the whole spectrum. So what about the RPM? Well, let me lead in here. Um, you know, I usually try to keep these videos as objective as possible. But in this one particular case, I'm going to let more of my own personal bias come through. So I, uh, you know, personally, I absolutely love the RPM the waves. Uh, it's been my go-to wave kite for five years now. It, you know, and a large part of that is because I actually own one. It's always in my car. It's always on hand. I'm not trying to, you know, snag it out of our demo room. So there's definitely that to consider. But, you know, it's just a really fast, fun, easy kite to use in the wave. So uh, I guess to sum up the wave potential, you know, slingshot, um, would tell you that the Rally is better in the waves. And what we would say is, if you're looking for a more powered kite in the waves, then, you know, go for the Rally. Uh, but if you're looking for, you know, more reactive, a little lighter kite, a little faster, a little more playful in the waves, then go for the RPM. So even Slingshot, um, you know, when they're ranking their kites, you know, they have the ranking infographics on their website. If you look it up, you're going to see that they rank the, uh, you know, the RPM as a 7 and the Rally as an 8, and I could be wrong on that. So as with most all-around kites, you can expect both these kites to perform well on the waves. And of course, you know, they're not niche kites, so it's not going to be like, a, you know, a Neo or a Drifter or anything like that. But, you know, as far as all-around kites go, yeah, these are awesome in the waves. So to sum up, guys, you know, both of these kites, they do fall into that all-around user-friendly category. You know, if you're that rider that likes to be powered, you want a little bit of help getting up wind, you like loftier jumps, Maybe you don't unhook that often, you know, go for the go for the rally. It's a great kite. But on the other hand, if you're looking for a kite that's just all out performance and is still incredibly user friendly, in fact, so user friendly that you probably used it in a school when you took your kiteboarding lesson. You know, if you're that rider that's just looking for performance, but you don't want to make all the trade-offs that you're gonna get with a performance kite, I would say go for the RPM. It really is an amazing kite. It's a kite that's still easy to jump with, easy to ride up wind but it just really shines for that advanced rider. After riding this, I realized just how special the RPM is. Uh, there's really no kite that's quite like it. You know, in, in the last few years, I've kind of neglected it myself. I've gravitated towards kites like the uh, FX or the Dice or just checking out some of the newer gear, you know, and the, the RPM's been around for a while. It's a staple in our lineup. We go through a lot of them, and uh, after doing this video, I have a feeling that I'm going to be putting a lot more time in that. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, so as always, this Versus series, it's an open forum, and it's about getting a conversation going. So please leave comments, leave your thoughts, so that way when somebody is researching these kites, they'll find this video, they'll hear what I had to say, but they can look down and see what you had to say as well. You know, you guys have plenty of experience on these kites and plenty of original thoughts. And hey, maybe, maybe I missed something, so fill us in, let us know about your experience on these kites. And hey guys, if you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, until next time, this has been Rago, and I'll see you next Wednesday.